Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we are talking all about C-section scar massage for recovery. I'm with my sister-in-law Lexi from Hi. Moon Mama and she had twins, she had a C-section, so we're going to show you the exact techniques that you can use, the timeline that you should use them, as well as the benefits of C-section scar massage. Of course, everyone's recovery is different, so make sure you check with your own doctor what is a good timeline and technique for you. For the first six weeks, your scar is still healing, mm -hmm. and even if it looks like it's healing, it may not be healing on the inside, so we really want to let it heal, give it space. It is okay to massage around it, mm -hmm. so your uterus may be shrinking, and so it can feel good and be beneficial to massage around it, but really staying away until you get clearance at about that six-week mark. So at six weeks, that's when you can start sensitizing the area. So what I would do was with two fingers, I would gently rub down above the scar going down and then below the scar rubbing upwards. And then what I would do is gently rub along the length of the scar with two fingers. And as the weeks progress and as you have um, your doctor's Approval. Give you clearance, yeah, clearance, <laughs> thank you. Check. Um, that's when you can really start putting a lot more pressure and, and repeating the same thing. So I would do two fingers and I would work all the way up the scar and then I would work below, I would push down and then what I would do is I would go along the length of the scar and I would repeat that daily. I would do it twice a day. Um, if you can do more, that's great. If you can't, you the best thing to do is just to massage the scar. Another technique that you can try after the 12 weeks, after you've been cleared, of course, is skin pinching and rolling. Mm -hmm. However, when we talked about this, this isn't easy for everyone to do, depending on how easy it is to pick up your skin. So I'm going to show you on mine. So let's say I had a scar right here. Basically, you would go to the end of your scar, pinch, and then you would roll it along, and then you could go both directions. However, if this isn't possible for you to pick your skin up, that's okay. This is just another option, mm -hmm. another way to move your scar around to try to decrease those adhesions. Going back to the first six weeks, it is really important not to touch that area. It's really sensitive. Mm -hmm. And I remember, oh my gosh, I remember. So I just remember feeling so uncomfortable that first six weeks and I had two different options of underwear. One were these hilarious lacy underwear that my sister who also never had children purchased for me to wear at the hospital, which I could not wear. And then I ended up with like granny panties, your like classic um, purchased from Walmart, what have you. And again, I put them on and it was, it was so uncomfortable because it's so tight and you just, the pressure of, of fabric on you. It's crazy. And that's where I was inspired to take those ugly mesh underwear and make them beautiful because every mother needs to feel special and beautiful that first six weeks postpartum. That is why today we did a C-section video with these beautiful mesh underwear. <laughs> So Lexi has so generously shared a promo code for us. So you have to enter P and P TV. I'm going to put the details in the description box below. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are literally hiding in our mother laws bathroom, <laughs> hiding from our five children today. Mm -hmm. um, but this has been really fun. Thanks for coming on today and we will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.